And welcome back. Ten minutes in Skyrim. Right now I'm heading to Ustengrav. I'm up by Halted Stream. Going to head over the mountains here. Oh, maybe we'll run into something on the way. Who knows? Let's see. Oh, we're at Volumrud. Maybe we'll just go in there then. <laughs> Thought that was further away. Want to get some money together to improve my house, so all this stuff is good. All oh, this is like gravy. All right, who's down there? There's got to be someone down there, right? No, maybe not. Let's head in. I forget what's in Ustin Grav. We'll find out. Flies, apparently, are in Houston Ground. Or Volnrude, sorry. Houston Grab's where I'm going. <laughs> Alrighty. So, this is 10 Minutes in Skyrim. I believe I said that. ASAPodcasting.com. Uh, you can check out our shows over there Skyrimatic Podcast, Fallout Feed, etc., etc. Let's read uh, headaches notes. I'm skeptical, but obvious now. Oh, Cavanel. Uh, oh, God. Oh, okay. I know what this is. Alright. We have to get the two axes. Or the axe and uh, something else. I assumed you were going to wake up, so... Figure take care of that first. Alright, let's head in. Sorry, guy. Sorry about your luck. Alright, so, yeah, okay. Down here, uh, if you were further along in Dark Brotherhood, it would be a place where you would meet a guy to kill the Emperor. So there's that. We have to go get the two ceremonial weapons, put them in the door, and uh, open up Cavanel's chamber. Oh, God, I think this is pretty hard, though. All right. Oh, God, just made myself dizzy. There we go. First person kills me. Sorry. What do we got here? Anything good? Work of Charos, not bad. I'll take anything I can get at this point. I will go left first. miss those guys. There we go. Well, oh, he's a tricky one because he's in in the cobwebs. Like, he's not going to get up. But reality is, he's going to get up. Still a little more sensitive than I would like the controller. I have to find out if I can adjust the sensitivity. Alright, alright, we got him. Should be another fella around here somewhere. change my shout. I just realized that. Alright. There we go. 
kind of <laughs> pushed the limits on that one there. <laughs> Alrighty, let's check him. We'll heal up and then we'll go in there into that next room where uh, there might be a couple higher leveled guys that could create problems. Hopefully I can get them. We'll see. I might have to use uh, some exploding arrows or something like that. I probably should have switched to fire when he was like right in my face. That would have been smarter. Alright, let's do this. Let's uh, get into this thing. Alright. Love the creepy sound additions to this. Save. Alright, let's see what, I, what my options are here. Oh, I used all of them. Oh, those stupid cultists. Oh. I don't know if the poison's even gonna work on that guy. Nope. Did not even make a bit of difference. Did not. All right, we're gonna get out of dodge. And then we'll sneak back in. Do this a little smarter. That did not really affect him at all. I gotta take out one at a time. I think that's the uh, best option. Which do I go for first? Go for the lesser. Get them out of the way. Don't be there. Don't be there. <laughs> All right. All right. We, got, we did that. Got one more guy. Or actually, it looked like a lady, I should say. All right. We got one down, so let's, uh, let's do a quick save here. be nice if I had an explosive arrow still. Oh, man. Turn around. Not even damaging. <laughs> not even damaging the Draugr. Just not even at all. Oh god, don't come around that corner. Don't come around that corner. this again. <laughs> we'll give this one more go. Hopefully I can inflict a little more damage. Okay, switch out. Maybe I'll switch to Orcish. 
They should give a little more uh, damage anyway. Okay, should be back, or she should be back in her chamber. Sounds like it. been 10 minutes in Skyrim. <laughs> we'll be back next time. We'll see what happens. Later, everyone.